Let's fire up that griddle and let's make some smash burgers. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Dad Hut. Today I am going to show you how to make smash burgers on your flat iron griddle. Uh, this one here, I'm going to be using the Char Griller 3 Burner Flat Iron Griddle, but whatever brand you have and whatever one you're using, this is going to work the exact same. So let's hop right into it. Let's talk about the meat. You're going to want to get 80-20 beef. That is the ratio that you're going to want for smash burgers. It is the perfect, perfect balance for grease and fat. Get the 80-20. So for sizing these, I got a little tip for you. If you have a 1 4th cup measuring cup you want to scoop the ground beef into that and when you pack it in there that is the right size you want to make for these patties so if you have one of these that is the perfect way to get the exact measurement every single time so when you get these you're going to want to ball them up but we're going to do loose balls we're not making super tight meatballs here be loose with your balls you're not going to overpack them they don't have to be perfectly round or anything like that just you know just pat them like three or four times just to get them in a circular, you know, shape and, you know, so they're not falling apart, but don't overpack your balls. So your balls are ready to go. But before you do anything, this is very, very, very important. You need to get everything else done first because these things cook so fast, okay? So get your griddle going, get that thing up to high temp. And if you're going to toast your buns, do it now. Get your cheese out. Get your condiments out. If you're sauteing any onions or anything like that, do all of that first. Get every single thing outside, ready to go, so when you start cooking, you're not running around looking for anything, because these guys go super, super fast. I'm talking a minute, minute and a half on each side. So you don't have time to run around. Get yourself prepared. So once you've done everything and you're ready to go, place each ball down on your griddle. Remember, we want super, super high heat. Then what you're going to, want to do is take a piece of parchment paper, and if you have a uh, burger smasher, you're going to want to smash that uh, little ball down into a patty. You're going to want to push down for 5 to 10 seconds, and you're going to want to twist a little bit in there too. Um, if you don't have a burger smasher, that's fine. You can use a spatula or something heavy if you have it. Just whatever you have laying around, that'll work, but if you have a burger smasher, even better. Uh, now these should have little holes in them. You should see little tiny holes. You can see through to the bottom of the, uh, of the griddle. That is how you know you smashed it thin enough. This is not a beauty contest for smash burgers. We want these boys thin. So if you see tiny little holes in the patty, that is perfect. Okay, so you got them all smashed. This is the time to add your seasoning. So if you have some hamburger seasoning, if you want salt and pepper, whatever seasoning you like on your smash burgers, I'm just using some regular hamburger seasoning uh, that you can get at any grocery store and just sprinkling that on each patty before I flip them. Like I said, it's about a minute, minute and a half, and then you're gonna want to scrape these boys off and flip them over. Sometimes I find it helpful to use the back of a spatula. Whatever way you wanna do it, get them off, flip them over, and we're gonna wanna cook them for a minute and a half on the other side. This is where you wanna add your cheese though. Add your cheese immediately when you flip them over because they're only gonna need to cook for another minute and a half. Uh, if you got a lid, you can close your lid after you put your cheese on, help them melt. Or if you've got like a, you know, a bowl and you want to put some water in there and steam them to help the cheese melt, you could do that too. I just close the lid, let them cook for a minute and a half, and they're good to go. And this is what they look like, the final product, man. And they were so gooey, so good. They taste like, you know, an old-fashioned like steakhouse or if you've ever been to like Steak and Shake or Freddy's, depending on what part of the world or the country you live in. It was so good. They, the kids loved them. The wife loved them. Super simple recipe. You can feed the whole family for pretty, pretty cheap. Uh, it's one of the very, very first meals you're probably going to make on your griddle. Everybody makes a smash burger. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. If you did, please like, please subscribe so you don't ever miss any of these data videos. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>